Hi my love, so today's video is a special Dior vlog. I was kindly invited to an exclusive event which was held last month here in Melbourne, which was a first for us. And this is showcasing Dior's spring summer ready to wear collection. Now this pop up literally popped. The minute you walked in, you can see color blocking, so many vibrant colors. So this collection is inspired by the 60s and pop culture. It's playful, it's fun, it's vibrant. So let's take a look around. So here is the Toit de Joie in stripe. I love Toit de Joie, you guys know that. This dress is beautiful, very, very classic. Okay, I'm just trying on some of the ready to wear and this is just a cropped sort of knitted jacket with CD buttons as you can see. Very classic sort of block cut. I've just, don't mind my skirt, I've just got it on with some skorts. It's definitely something that is more classic I think. You could wear a long sleeve underneath for winter because it is quite thick. Like if you look at the fabric that's the, what the fabric is and that's a close-up of the button. Okay, next up we have this cropped little knitted tee which is super cute. I really like the cut but I think that it might be too similar to the Dior reversible jumper that I bought in Hawaii. But how cute are these skorts? What I do like about it is even though it is short, it's actually shorts. Jeez, that was a tongue twister. So. It's not like, you know, if you cross your legs, you are still modest. <laughs> so this is in a 34 because it is stretchy, but this skirt here, you probably could size down because I've put on weight and this is a 36 and there's like plenty of room at the back. Yeah, so what do you guys think of this outfit? Okay, so this jacket is the one that, what's that girl's name from uh, that Korean band? I can't remember, I think it's Jisoo, she wore this, but it just doesn't suit me. I feel like very, don't mind the blue singlet, but I just, yeah, I don't really think it suits me. It's okay, but I like the classic black one a lot better. Okay, so this is the orange suit. I am really loving orange. This jacket is slightly too small for me. I mean, open it's okay, but on my shoulders it's feeling a little bit restrictive. And the skirt is too big, but it's too loose. But just to get an idea, what do you guys think of this? Oh, it's so hot today. Melbourne, seriously. Hot one day, freezing the other. But yeah, I'm really digging orange. It's very bright, but one way you can dull it down a bit is like, just say you want to buy the orange skirt, you know, I would probably pair it with black and then you can pair it with a black handbag. So it's not so like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm wearing all orange. And this is the little Toit de Jouet vest. Super, super cute. Normally I'm not even into this sort of Toit de Jouet vest, but the price guys is like 5,000. Australian dollars, so a bit pricey, but it's very very cute. I'm surprised how much I like it Okay, this is a Dior cropped canards jacket, which is super cute And then I'm wearing the new white versions of the slingbacks Which are really nice. They come in the green as well but Surprisingly, I didn't like them and I already own the black and just to show you this is new, the Zodiac in the medium. They call this the medium size now because they have come out with this size here, which is the small, whereas in 
That used to be called the small, but that's the medium. This is the small now, and then you have the mini, which doesn't have the proper roll top handles. So that is what the small looks like on me, which is super duper cute as well. What do you guys think? What size out of the Dior book totes do you prefer? The large, the medium, the small, or the mini? Let me know below. So another thing I loved about this Dior pop-up is that they even had a Dior cafe and the cafe was actually located just outside. They had this courtyard with a lap pool and if you want a break from shopping, you can head out here, have a champagne, have some yummy food. I actually love that they held it at this converted church. So it's this beautiful mix of old architecture and then new. So definitely a really nice treat, but let's head on back inside and I'll try on some of the bags for you. So besides the black and neutrals, this collection definitely featured bright, bold colour. So even on the Dior book totes, on the accessories, there's a lot of colour. You can see even on the shoes. This particular one has a jungle pop theme of the zebra. But even the Micro Lady Dior's, how cute is this one in neon yellow? And it also comes in pink as well. But yeah, this pop inspiration you will find on the shoes, on the scarves. This one here, they've interpreted on the daylight with a flower motif that's all embroidered. Yeah, just color, 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 and just a nod to 60s pop art. And this Lady Dior with all the woods design, that's so beautiful as well. Just showing you some of the jewelry that they have the little mini caro bags in neon. Of course, there's still some of the classics, but as you can see, the tailoring, the silhouettes, the color, it's all very 60s. You know how in the 60s they had a lot of like skirt suits, but yeah, this collection is just so fun. It's so playful. And all this color just makes me really, really happy. Then you have the boxing range, which is super cool. Fully looks like boxing shorts. This is just a nice cropped jacket. Look at this long sort of boxing coat. A little nylon skirt. Wow, look at this exotic and more neon colors, but this time in the small Lady Dior. This is the Dior Bobby East West. This has really grown on me. I do love the colors though and green you guys know i'm partial to green that green lady dior is super gorgeous this lady dior exotic with the bling bling handles and i'm really liking this new application which is their diamond motif application Okay guys, well, I am sweating. It is so hot in this pop-up, but I did pick up some goodies, which I will reveal in a future video. So if you enjoyed coming along to this special Dior pop-up with me, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what you thought I bought. Have a wonderful day or night guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.